Good morning, guys. We're back here. Welcome to another vlog. This is vlog number 66. And it's Thursday, September 26th. And it's 8.23. So how is everyone doing? Um, hope everyone is doing well. Getting towards the end of that week. Uh, Friday is just around the corner. So what's been going on with me? Not really much. Uh, I had a long day at work yesterday. Actually, we have a, a project going up right now. So, uh, well, a project in works right now that I actually had uh, a fair amount of work to do on, and I will continue working on it probably throughout the day. So that's about it. Uh, last night, I cooked some steaks, uh, which was good. Made some New York strips, which I've never cooked before, uh, but they turned out very well. Uh, seared them and then put them in the oven uh, for, I don't know, I don't know how long, till they were uh, the right color throughout. Um, a little medium to medium rare uh, kind of area. But they turned out really good. Uh, but that was about my yesterday. Um, so we are going to continue our trend of storytelling. And this time we're taking a trip back to... I'm trying to think of how long ago it was. I was probably eh, five, six, seven, eight, somewhere around there. So probably it'd be considered like um, 17, no, about 15 maybe, 16, 15-ish years ago. Uh, so early 2000s uh, kind of time, and uh, we're going to talk about back uh, then at my, because my parents are divorced, so every week I swapped houses. So this is going to be at my dad's. We used to live kind of in town, um, closer to the elementary school, up on a little bit of a mountain. Uh, it's pretty pretty good location, uh, really, cl really close to town, like you could walk there in 10 minutes. Um, Mostly it was going downhill. And while we were there, we had a actual above ground pool. Uh, it's pretty good sized. Um, we had built the deck around it. It had metal framing. Uh, and it was really nice. Uh, me and my, we used to swim in it during the summer. Uh, me and my brother always ended up also trying to swim in it during the fall and turning like a, uh, like a, probably like a whitish blue color that you're not supposed to do because it'd be like 60 degrees outside to the pools, like 40 or 50, uh, you know, the good stuff. Um, that's not exactly where this story is going. We're talking about, um, you know, what happened to the pool uh, in the long run. So, like I said, metal frame, uh, and then it had the, like, rubber, rubber-esque plastic liner. Uh, and so, I don't remember exactly what we were doing. Me and my brother were, were swimming, and I think they were, my dad and stepmom were either cleaning or, like, doing patches or doing something of that nature while we were all swimming in it and hanging out and the pool got a rip in it well so to lay out kind of where it was it was kind of on the back eh, back right side of the house uh and it had a deck built around it and then like lower down the grade was a patio with a fence and then it dropped down to another like into the actual backyard like a, like a four foot drop backyard and then we were on a mountain so it went down to a flower bed road and then across the road and then down was another house so this thing i mean it was probably a decent sized pool uh like 20 to 25 by maybe like 10 or 12 uh, and then like four foot deep so that's a lot of water um and when it busted it like ripped a hole like the little hole expanded to like a big hole and like try to sweep everyone out. Uh, and not only did it flow all the gravel from uh, the little patio area down into the yard, it also flew the water through like a, uh, a whatchamacallit that would be in your foundation, a little vent hole. Uh <sighs> Water went through that and into our basement and flooded our basement and then also flooded the neighbor below the road, across the road and down the hills, carport. Uh, yeah, it was a not fun time for my fam like my parents. Well, dad. Uh, but, you know, it didn't bother us, but it was definitely a interesting story to uh, not have a pool anymore. And after that, we never remade the pool. Uh, it became a like a sand pit. We took all the plastic, like the rubber out, and it was just the sand that was the that was the bottom of the pool. And eventually, uh, we got 
uh, my dad took us hunting. Uh, we would go uh, hunting for raccoons with my grandpa, and we put our hunting dog in the pit as like its area because it was kind of it was considered kind of fenced off. I mean, it was lower down uh, until the dog figured out how to dig underneath it. But you know, thought that'd be an interesting story to tell. I uh, hope you guys did enjoy. Um, also, if you did enjoy, you can hit that like button or subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.